Today, a big arrest in the downtown Seattle riots. The feds got involved, and now they say they have their woman. She's from Tacoma, and she's accused of torching five Seattle police vehicles. As Cairo 7's Michael Spears reports, the FBI's investigation is not over. Federal investigators say they arrested her this morning. Flames from those torch cop cars flared as high as that awning. And investigators say video shows that's not all she was up to. The images have become a symbol of unrest in America. A peaceful protest on May 30th, followed by this, a row of parked Seattle police vehicles set on fire outside the downtown Nordstrom. Investigators say this 25-year-old Tacoma woman used an accelerant like a blowtorch to burn five of them. I was walking to, to, to our office when the peaceful protests were occurring, and then I watched on the, the uh, on the television as things devolved into violence, and I was uh, I was very shocked. Special agent in charge Raymond Duda said a team of local and federal investigators under the umbrella of the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force identified Margaret Channon as the arsonist captured on video spraying flames. From TV news video to social media, investigators say they looked for anything that could put a name to this face, including this image from a protest the day before, focusing on distinctive tattoos and eyebrows that the feds say linked her to a 2019 missing persons report out of Texas that helped confirm her identity, along with evidence taken from her home. The devastation, the, uh, the intensity of the fires that uh, this particular individual is accused of setting was, was very dangerous. The FBI tells us Channon was also spotted on video going inside the looted Old Navy, smashing windows at the Verizon store nearby and said their investigation is not over. Arson can be a federal violation. In this case, it, it, it was. Channon faces five counts of federal arson and is scheduled to have a court appearance tomorrow. Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News.